In this video, we'll look at four free applications that you can use to automatically transcribe audio and video files into text or subtitles, and they are powered by OpenAI's Whisper. Welcome to this video. My name is David, and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, first on the list is an application I recently introduced, and it's called Speech Translate. So, Speech Translate is one of the applications that's powered by OpenAI, uh, that is Whisper, and if we actually scroll down, uh, once you extract the files, uh, you'll see how it works. You can actually just try and see uh, once it loads the interface. Uh, in the background, you'll see that it has uh, some sort of uh, like a command uh, line. Don't close that. And then we have the interface where you can transcribe, translate, transcribe and translate. And then you can set the speed that you want. Uh, that is for the model, uh, the whisper model, tiny, base, small, medium, large. And you see the speed, this is 1x, the tiny is faster, but uh, the large has better result. But I've always noticed that the base is almost uh, does a good job. And you can actually use speech translate to automatically transcribe and translate. You can also choose just to translate or even just transcribe only. Uh, you can also use speech translate to actually record uh, or for real time speech recognition and transcription so if you're recording something on your mic you can use it to actually automatically transcribe the audio from your mic so uh, it's really awesome and you can just click on import uh, click on that click on open and based on the settings that you set uh, you'll notice that in the background we have uh, the command prompt going uh, telling us how many seconds it's going to take for that particular audio so you can see the different options that are available and just give it a couple of seconds and it's going to be done uh, in no time. It's really, really fast and simple uh, to use. And once it's done, it populates right inside there. Uh, that is how to use chat GPT to quickly summarize text. We have the subtitle file. Uh, that is how it looks like. And I've already mentioned in my review video on the things I don't like about it. Uh, so you can go and head over there to see what I don't like and mostly it's kind of the subtitle blocks just been dropped. For example, a zero to 12 second subtitle block with all this text is not going to be easy on the eyes. So the next thing is what we just saw, uh, it just starts automatically transcribing. So if you had not made your settings up here correctly, then you'll be in for a rough time. Uh, but finally, it also provides us with a transcript. So if you wanted a transcript of a particular video, you get the SRT file and the transcript. So that is Speech Translate as our first uh, free application that's powered by OpenAI's Whisper. Uh, next up, you're going to look at uh, Subtitle Edit. Obviously, uh, it would be missed from this list. And Subtitle Edit has really grown over the years. And it has incorporated uh, the simple uh, and OpenAI's uh, technology. So you go to Video. Let's say we go to Open Video File. Just get a quick video file here and then click on open. Uh, you can add the waveform if you want to and then go to video. I click on audio to text using whisper. And then I have English set and the model is the base model. And here it's using whisper uh, the CPP version. If you right click here, you can use uh, the original, but the CPP is faster and click on generate. It's going to begin generating, calculate the time for you. Uh, let you know how much time is remaining, uh, but this one is going to be probably 20 something seconds. Uh, that's the time it's going to take for this one to be done. Uh, but let's just give it a couple of like seven seconds right about there. Or actually, uh, maybe, yeah, actually like five more seconds and it's going to be done. There it goes. It's done. It's a little bit better in terms of the subtitles that we get uh, right inside here. Uh, it looks really, really awesome. And all you need to do is just make a couple of adjustments, fine tune everything as you want it to be. Uh, but that is the second free application that you can use to automatically transcribe your audio and video files into subtitles. And it's also powered by OpenAI's uh, Whisper. Uh, that is subtitle edit. Next up on the list, uh, we are going to be using Buzz and the number for the fourth option is going to be an online uh, based option if you don't want to, in to install anything. Uh, so we're going to use Buzz as uh, the third option. 
uh, and buzz is simple uh, straightforward and uh, we got import media here you can actually click on this plus uh, and then navigate to the folder where you want to add your files from uh, let's say we go to uh, this one click on open and then you can set these settings whisper and then we go to the base and then you can click on run if you want to add wide level timings you can do that click on run uh, it's going to be queued let's actually uh, open this up it's in progress it's also a little bit fast and looks uh, a little bit better and uh, the uh, this version is actually 0 0.7.0 0 or 0 0.7.1 it just had a naming issue there uh, but what this does is that once it's done it has queued everything that you've done remember if you don't want to remove anything uh, don't just click on this button it's going to clear this uh, history but if you click on one file here click on open transcript you can see the transcript as it is uh, and you can see that it also gives you a block of subtitle text which is not really awesome I uh, wish there was a way to actually reduce the characters uh, available uh, per line let's say like between uh, you can input a number between like 30 to 40 to make it easy to read when it's uh, rendering and hopefully uh, it synchronizes accurately uh, but once you get this you have the option to export into a different version text srt or vtt really depends on what you want so that's really awesome and this is buzz uh, and it's uh, the version 0 0.7.0 .0, uh, that's available right now so all links are going to be included below and the final version of the free app we can use is freesubtitles.ai and you can see the number of transcription completed the hours and minutes transcribed uh, so uh, probably if you're not into too much of security and all that you can use this and if you don't want to download anything or you don't know how to, in to download and install stuff then you can use this so uh, we can see we can go and choose a file so we'll just choose maybe just choose one file here drag and drop so it's going to be added here and this is going to be a paid feature if you want to enter a link for automatic download and then we can auto detect and the option uh, we have a, a bunch of options here uh, you can select uh, let's say go go with the base and then click on upload so that uh, it's going to check our upload limit it's going to start uploading and it's going to give you uh, the different options the speed if you have a better internet connection than i do then probably this is going to just go up in a, in like a second because it's a very small file but my connection is not the best and you can always start another transcription uh, if you want to upload a couple of more files uh, onto freesubtitles.ai but let's give it a couple of seconds and then uh, we are going to see it transcribe in real time uh, so that we actually see the results that we get once freesubtitles.ai is done with uh, our transcription and subtitling it's really really awesome that we can now have free tools that we can use to do this so uh, it's processing once it's done uploading we spy initializing updates to come so transcription starting soon there we go remaining and you can see the speed two seconds remaining and it's done transcription completed give it a couple of seconds for it to load up everything for us going to load uh, somewhere here uh, like in a video, video interface I'll show you how so you can already see the subtitles and all that and uh, it pops up because we uploaded a video and then from here you can download the SRT version if I click on this download there we go and if I actually open it this is what it looks like uh, still the same thing uh, feels a little bit like it's segmenting in five seconds, five seconds, seven, seven, eight, eight. Uh, I wish there was a way to actually set what we want. And then we have a web VTT subtitle file. And also let's go with a view of this text file. Let's click on view. And this is what the text file looks like. And you can just copy it and paste it uh, maybe where you wanted to paste it. But simply put, 
those are four free applications that you can use to automatically transcribe your audio and video files into texts and or subtitles that are powered by OpenAI's Whisper. I hope this tutorial is of value to you. Thank you so much for watching.